Today, the 48-year-old's life was cut short when he was found dead in a hotel room in Salt Lake City. Anyone hearing the sad news on April 20th, 2010, had to have it repeated. How could the healthy and vibrant president of the Colorado Rockies pass away? I don't know if I've known a, a bigger man in stature, but a kinder man in heart. You know, the guy looked like he could, you know, chew you up and eat you for breakfast, but uh, he was so nice of a man and he would do anything for you. The death of Kelly McGregor was a shock to multiple communities. The Rockies, where he'd worked for 17 years, the CSU Rams, where he'd played college football, and the entire state of Colorado, where he was born and raised. And I miss him, Susie, and I've only had the, had the opportunity to be around him for just about a year. Uh, but what a special man he was, and just observing him and his values and the way I was raised. Uh, he was a presence, Susie, and he still is, even though he's not here with us. He's with us every day. His legacy and initials will forever be a part of the Rockies and Coors Field. And when the team is creating positive headlines, they know exactly how Kelly would feel. He would be proud of us um, because this team goes out there, plays hard every single night, and that's all he ever asked for. And I think uh, it, it, not only on the baseball field, but I think being good role models off the field is really what he appreciated and standing for the right things. And I think for the most part in this clubhouse, we have a group of, of really good guys on and off the field. That's what he'd be most proud of. Years of hard work you know, that he, he spent building um, uh, this organization, um, you know, this team is, you know, is the result of that. He'd be very proud, uh, there's no doubt about it. The Lakewood Tigers and Bear Creek Bears didn't come to All-Star Park on April 20th just to play a game. They came for a bigger purpose. And this is now <clears throat> Kelly McGregorville. A year after Kelly's untimely death with his wife Lori and three of their four children in attendance, the legacy of the former Rockies president was embedded into a ballpark he helped envision and create over 13 years ago. His legacy in this organization will live forever because it represents all that is good. It represents everything that's necessary in order to be a champion. Those who helped dedicate Kelly McGregor Field at Coca-Cola All-Star Park praised him for bringing out the good in everything he touched. You heard the word character. It's not a word. It's a way of life that the Colorado Rockies live. The best words of all, though, came from Taylor, Landry, and Logan. Daddy, we would do anything to have you here. But we know you've been watching down on us each moment and haven't missed one important event. God bless all of you and thank you once again. We, we love, love you so very, very much, much, Daddy. It was a fitting tribute, but as the saying goes, and as Kelly would want it, the game must go on. So when you take this field, you play with passion. You play hard. You play to win. And when you're done, whether you win or whether you lose, you do it with grace. And when you leave this facility, you live your life with character and with pride. And you will have done Kelly a great service. Susie Worgen, Nine News.